Hello, it's Karen here, Kazina, and um, yeah, I'm back again so soon. Uh, <laughs> uh, I actually picked up a few things, so um, I thought I'd show them to you. And um, it's funny, the other day I was thinking about doing a video about you know what makes you happy as a gamer, and I was going to talk about this, that, and the other. And one of the one of the things was you know, as a gamer, I love finding games in the wild um, particularly if you get them cheap and they're not a cheap game or sometimes it's just nice to find a game out there that you've been looking for it might only be worth a few quid anyway but you've always wanted it and you find it and um, yeah I, I think I found some really decent games actually um, and not very difficultly difficultly difficult don't know if that sounded right <laughs> but yeah I found a few games and I'm very happy so I thought I'd show you what I found and uh, the first one I found was um, last week I went in a charity shop and uh, they never have games in there I don't know why I went in there I think I was just like oh I'll give it a go and uh, I f they had a, a Xbox 360 game which is very unusual for uh, this charity shop anyway that never has really has games and um, I found this game and um, the box is a little bit manky, I must admit. Well, it's a bit sort of worn looking. It's Sacred 2, um, the collector's edition. And um, it was £5. And I thought, no, the box is a bit mank. But I looked inside, looked inside, and the box inside is in perfect condition so whoever kept it didn't keep the box outside box very well and I looked at the disc and it's in great condition um, in, in the case and it also has a CD in perfect condition a figure from Sacred still in its plastic and a map um, so yeah I was really pleased to find that and um, you know because I had a look inside I thought yeah I don't mind paying five pounds for that and it's funny when I went to pay for it the bloke said oh well, you put that up five minutes ago so that was a bit of luck wasn't it so um, I've had a go of it go at it and um, I did play um, about three hours of it actually the first night and um, I've quite enjoyed it it's it's kind of along the lines of the Baldur's Gate type of role-playing game um, you know it's not like dead hardcore <laughs> you know um, it's a lot of ch -ch 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 -ch, like that and then a bit more ch -ch -ch -ch, and then a bit of magic here and there <laughs> And people die, and goblins die, and things die, and then you pick up loads of gold, and boop, 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 boop. that's the kind of funny noise you know it makes when you pick things up, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, it's really it's one of those games that I quite like that sort of Baldur's Gate sort of type of game. You know, it's a bit repetitive, but it's really enjoyable. So I was really pleased to find it, and it's a collector's edition, so happy about that. And then to Today, actually, I'm not doing this in the right order because I found stuff yesterday. Anyway, today I went to CEX and I know, don't laugh. I found this PS2 game for 50p. And initially I just saw 50p, right? And I thought, oh, that's not bad. It might do for a spare case. And then I said, oh, Dance Factory. <laughs> but when I looked on the back, right, if you've got a dance mat, which I do, you can actually put in any CD with this and it generates its own sort of moves to the CD so I thought oh that's pretty cool isn't it or maybe not it might have been cool sort of 10 years ago when Dance Mats came out maybe <laughs> but I thought it was pretty cool and um, yeah and uh, you know because I've been trying to lose all oh, my cats I've been trying to lose weight recently um, and uh, you know I need to motivate myself and do a bit of exercise you know and um, you know I kind of it kind of has to be a bit fun for me so maybe if I stick on you know some mad CD with my dance mat and look like an idiot I might actually shift some weight and have some fun so <laughs> that's why I picked that one up and then um, I picked these two up today in cash converters um, and the first one case is in terrible condition um, it's only 50p but it's um, Jonah Lamu 
Lamu, Lamu, rugby. Now, I don't know, God knows why I picked it up, because, you know, what is rugby to me? Um, men, quite big, generally with noses like that and cauliflower ears, that carry the ball a lot, and then occasionally put it down and it's called a try, <laughs> and everyone's happy about it. But they've only tried. <laughs> I don't know. That's very um, a girly, simplistic view of rugby. But yeah, I, I hasten to add, I don't actually watch rugby, and um, so I'm not really sure I picked it up. But I did. Maybe it's time to own a rugby game for the first time. And it was 50p. I also, it doesn't have the front cover either, by the way, which is a bit, uh, but never mind. Um, I picked this up and it's in absolutely mint condition. And uh, this also costs 50p and it's called King, King, King of Bowling 2. Um, a pretty simple looking game. You know, you just bowl and knock the pins down. But I don't mind this sort of game, actually. Um, so I thought for 50p, and it's in absolutely immaculate condition. In fact, it doesn't look like it's ever been played or opened, you know. Um, even even the um, manual smells new. Um, and then yesterday I picked up these games. I should have just done this in the right order, but never mind. I'll pick this game up. And um, it's probably a load of cack, but it was pound. And again, the the, um, the disc is cracked at the front, but the it has the um, my cats are running up and down. It has uh, the manual and everything, and it's uh, the fifth element. And I, I've got a funny feeling this is a terrible game. Some people think it was a terrible film. Um, I remember I kind of mildly enjoyed it. But um, there was some dude in it that was really irritating, that was kind of commentating, wasn't it? The guy with the funny hair and the mic and... Ah, yeah. Um, but I did enjoy some of it, did some of the film. Luke Bresson? Besson? Anyway. Um, so I got it because I thought it might be interesting. Um, and I found this for a pound. And it, this, again, is in immaculate condition with the manual. And it's Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. Which, and it's got a nice little holographic front and all, which is cool. I think I used to own this, but I don't know what happened, and I didn't own it. But now I own it again. So I, I was pleased to find that. Um, I paid a pound for this. Kiss Pinball. I'm not a fan of Kiss at all. Don't like that sort of stuff. But um, I like pinball games, as I've said before. So I thought that was worth a shot for a pound. I found this one which I was very pleased to find and um, again in immaculate condition like it's never been played and it's Resident Evil um, the director's cut nice nice I was thinking to find that for a pound and uh, yeah it's in absolutely never used looked condition so delighted um, I found this one for a pound, Pro Pinball, Fantastic Journey. Again, um, simply because I like pinball. Uh, I was pleased to find this, Point Blank, Immaculate, for a pound. Um, I used to have Point Blank 2. God knows what happened to it. Um, but I never owned Point Blank. And it's great fun. And if you can hook your, your light gun up to your TV, you can blast away like mad and really have fun because it's quite difficult I think with a game pad to play uh, gun, uh, guns shooters like that you know I'm like this all over the shop you know <laughs> so um, I was very pleased to find that and then I found this for a pound immaculate again Resident Evil Survivor um, I think this is uh, can be played with a light gun as well um, I've never played this, any of the Survivor ones. I didn't like Resident Evil Outbreak at all. But I think I might enjoy that. Uh, another one you can play with a light gun. And um, I've never seen it on the PS1 to be honest. Um, I've got it on the... I think I've got it on the Mega Drive. But I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it's Lethal Enforcers. And uh, yeah... I didn't know they bought that out for the PS2. PS2? Uh, 
the PS1. I didn't know they brought it out for the PS1, so I was very surprised to find that, and it was only a pound. I found this for a pound, and it's the only one that doesn't have a manual, is a Buster Move 4. But you don't really need a manual for Buster Move, but as a completist it would be nice to have the manual, but for the actual game you don't need the, the manual. You kind of know what Buster Move is. And lastly, I was absolutely delighted to find this, because it's a slightly rare PS1 game. Um, you don't see it a lot, and um, you certainly wouldn't get it off of eBay for a pound, which I got it in cash converters for, and it's in such brilliant condition as well, like the others, and it's Terracon, and um, I've actually played some of this, I played some this morning before I went to work, and I played a bit last night, I'm only up to about to start level 3 on this, uh, basically you're an alien called Zed, and you're on this ship, and the, these Terracon creatures. I think I think it's something to do with this doctor who's created them or something. Um and they they turn against the doctor and the, and uh, these aliens and and kill all the the aliens and Zed manages to get away but then his job is to take back you know what's been taken from from him uh from the Terracons by the Terracons. Um that's his job and he's like the lone little alien doing it and he's got a holographic version of the Doctor talking to him a bit like Voyager except not like Star Trek Voyager at all but it's really good fun you know it's really good fun I mean it's kind of a run and gun sort of game you know you, you it's done in the third person and you just blast away at these little alien things and uh, you have to sort of um, shoot at certain things it's like they call it meshing um, you have to shoot at these certain things like that maybe are they look like sort of a wireframe thing and you've got to shoot at it and it becomes solid and you can maybe get across it to go to another part um, but yeah this is really good fun and I'm going to put this in when I finish doing this a video <laughs> really seriously and it's about um, 11 o'clock at night at the moment so um, I shan't be going to bed too early <laughs> but um, I was delighted to find this for a pound Terracon so yeah I, I think I've done pretty well I think and um, yeah I kind of answered a bit of my own question that I was asking myself as I said earlier what makes you happy as a, a gamer and it's finding stuff like that that makes me really happy um, anyway thanks very much for watching and um, hopefully I'll have some good stuff to show you again. Bye. <coughs>